Hi, grade 5. Today, we're going to discuss assignment number 14, Travel in the Future. That's page 49 of your computer book. So, last, uh, a week ago, we discussed and demonstrated how to do slide number 6, Entertainment in the Future. And then, this week, we're going to add the sl uh, slide number 7, which is Travel in the Future. So what we're going to do is that we're going to add new um, new slide uh, and then after that we're going but this time we're not going to use two content so we're going to add a different slide so okay for me the same duplicate the slide and then delete Okay, delete and then click outside click the background or your slide go to layout and click title only okay and then change this to travel in the future and then after this well, let's go to insert tab and then let's insert a text box Okay, so click text box and then it will appear here. So adjust the size of the text box. Okay, later on it will it will adjust. And then inside the text box, describe how you're going to the park. Okay, how do you travel in the park? What does a futuristic park look like? And what do you do while you are at the park? Then type as the final sentence, soon it is time to go home. So, so for me, I'm going to um, copy the one in the book. But unfortunately, it's not readable in your book. So what you can do, you can stop from this point of the video and then copy Okay, start typing the story. So for me, I'm just copying and pasting it. Okay, so for me, I want to change the color to white. Okay, so my story is about you decide to travel to the park to skateboard. You signal the chauffeur car. It pulls up to the sidewalk. You open the door and sit inside you're plugged in the address for where you want to go the car starts to automatically drive down the streets it stops at lights and senses pedestrians in no time at all uh, at all you arrive at your destination you grab your skateboard and start to do some tricks soon it is time to go home Okay, no, so you can change this. For example, uh, remember the video that I asked you to watch uh, about the future in traveling. So what kind of cars you're going to, a flying car, normally that's the common. And then what kind of taxi. For example, if you're go, what kind of karim. You know, here in Saudi Arabia or in the Middle East, they were using karim or Uber. So in the future, what kind of karim or Uber are around? Okay, you can modify this. Okay, you can modify according to how you view traveling in the future look like. Okay, then, okay, we're going to format the text. Okay, so click and drag to select all the text in the text box. Locate the font on the home tab. So, like what we did, no? So, you can highlight if you want to change this, the text. So, highlight it first. You can adjust the size according to um, as long that the, the paragraphs are still inside of the PowerPoint. So no problem. Adjust it. Regarding the font style, it's up to you. What, what do you like? So as long it's readable and presentable, it's okay. Okay, the font size, size, and so on. The color. So for me, majority of my text in the other slides are all white. So that's why... I only need to do is to make it all white, okay? Then, 
According to page 49, format the text. Okay, set the shape of the letter or the design. Okay, the font style, apply a bold, italic, underline, or shadow. So, for example, I want to apply underline. For example, this one, just click U. It will be underline. Or, um, for example, skateboard. So, it can be italized. Or, you can change the color. So, here, um, select the word that you think it's um, important in the story. And then, after that, you apply the format text. Okay, underline, bold, no? So, for me, I already bold all. So, what I can do, I can uh, uh, remove that. And only apply that on selected uh, word or words. Okay? So that it will be presentable. Okay? For example, the last one. I can do that. Okay? Hmm. So the shortcut key for those um, formatting icons, for bold, it's control B. But you need to highlight first the word, the letter, or paragraph that you want to apply it. And then control, then press B. Then for italic, it's control I. And for underline, it's control U. So by doing this, it will be faster, in especially if you have many things to modify. Now, page 50. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert an animated clip in uh, into travel in the future slide. So we nor before we call that as uh, clip art. Okay. So you're going to insert an animated clip or travel in the future. It will not move on the slide. You must view the slideshow to see it move. So normally, so clip art or GIF file when you put them in your PowerPoint, it's not moving. No, initially, but it will move once you play or uh, do the presentation. That's the... Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we need to go to insert and then go to online photos. So, for me, it's picture yes, and then online pictures. And then we're going to insert, we're going to look for animated photos or GIF. Okay. So, um, scroll to the results. If you see one you like uh, that you like, hold the mouse and or insert it. Okay. So, type a search item followed by the term animation or animated GIF or clip art. So, for example, okay, flying car. Okay, that. Uh, and then the word animated. Okay, let's see. So as you can see, there, there will be a lot of result. So it's up to you to select which one is really moving. Okay, so let's have... Uh, So we are not sure if it's moving or so let's see. Okay, so delete it. So when we play it, so we need to try it. So shift F5 to play only that part okay it's not moving okay so so your create your requirement should be it's moving so if it's not moving you go again here and try to search um, okay flying car okay that G I F Normally, that file format is flying. So, let's see. Because I'm not sure if this is 
Fine. But if you're not sure with this, you can go to Google. Okay, you can go to Google and download it. Okay, but it should be here. Let's see. Okay, so the, the most important part here, it's that photo of yours or this, the one you selected, it's moving when you play it. Okay, so we'll click it. So it's not moving again. So let me... Uh, search again okay so here I try to search it in Google so go to Google images and then search flying car that GIF so like this one it's flying so there's another one this one okay so the one the one you need to select it's not the one uh, the car that is flying because it's accident there's an accident okay so you need to really select a car which is flying like for example this one i like it so right click it and then copy image and then go to your powerpoint and try to paste the picture okay so you can add one or two big photo okay let's try again Okay, so okay, so slide number seven, shift F five, and then swap center. Okay, okay, it's not moving again. Okay, so maybe we should download that photo. Can you save it? Let's try again by saving it. So, flying car. Okay, so I save it in the desktop. Hopefully, it will run. So, insert photo. Go to desktop and look for the flying car. So now it's moving. I think it depends on the version you're using. Okay, so so it's from Google. You need to download. Don't copy because what happened if it's only picture, it will not move. So I can add more. Okay. So but the rest is not GIF anymore. So, select any, fo uh, any photo that you think it's moving or it's GIF. Let us have this one, GIF. It's written GIF. Or like this one. Um, or this one. Okay, so it's not moving. So just select that one or like this. you can have this. Okay. Okay, so maybe that's <laughs> that's the car in the future that you want to see. Okay, so we can have another okay this one. I don't know if it's moving. select this so save image and then save it on the desktop or in the place that you want to save it and then insert it here so insert picture and then this device and then select the or the flying card that you save so you can add 
resize it and then put it here, put it on the other side. Okay. Then after this, page fifty, we're going to insert an action button on in the work of the in the work of the future, and then we need to type go to part. So work in the future, it's here, right? And then we need to insert a button again. So blank. Okay, then hyperlink to, then the slide, and then travel, travel in the future slide. Okay, then click OK. And then insert word art. That's the one I selected. So go to, go to part. Okay. Adjust the size according to the size of your button. Okay, then of course we need to group them. Okay, so group. So when we click this, it will go to the travel and the future slide. Okay, so for th for this week, that's the only that's the that's the slide that you need to add to your um, project. So imagine tomorrow slide number seven, and then next week we're going to finish uh, the last slide, which is assignment number fifteen. Okay, so this is your final output for slide number seven. Okay, you can you can change the story, you can change the photo. Okay, so you have those leniency in terms of modifying your work. Okay, so that's all.